Crystal Bear. I know this is not the result you were hoping for, Alex, but could you share with us when do you feel the momentum has changed for you on court? Yeah, it's a, it's a tough, tough match to... Um, yeah, uh, to finish up my uh, my campaign here, obviously had aspirations for for more, but um, yeah, my time here was cut short. Uh, Andre deserves the win today. He he played too good um, in the fourth and fifth set. He kind of, um, in my eyes, just let go and started swinging freely and caught a little purple patch and yeah it was uh it was too good in the end questions please alex congratulations on a, on a great summer i know it's going to be hard to sink in right now but c can you tell us about physically how you felt towards the end there did he just hit you off the court or did you did you really start to feel it physically no yeah, that's the thing it's it's tough because i thought he was hurting physically in the third and in the fourth and he just let go he started uh swinging and you know he the balls went in you know it's not uh, not a match that I, uh, I thought i lost physically it was just that the racket was taken out of my hand got to a stage where you know i just could not get him moving or, or expose that movement he was just standing and and hitting from you know every single part of the court and just you know mac 10 and you know that's probably the most disappointing part of of the whole match we saw you had the medical timeout um to proceed treatment on the blisters did that impact you at all after that or how was it after that no it didn't impact me. Uh, an injury is never going to impact uh, a result uh, in my matches. You know, ultimately it doesn't matter if yeah, I'm, I'm playing on one leg. Um, I'm going to be competitive till the end. So it was completely fine. I, I just, you know, got a blister and uh, I just needed a little bit of taping and padding and yeah, it was completely fine. You mentioned that Andre basically threw caution to the wind in those final two sets. When he levelled at two sets all, did you feel that you might consider adopting a similar approach in that final set? Well, to be honest, I, I, I think probably a couple of things let me down today. My serve was probably one of them. Uh, I just was not finding first serves and, and you know, in those crucial moments, uh, I was allowing him to, yeah, giving him too many second serves and he was able to just swing freely. Um, but no, because I felt great. I thought, you know, we we're going to go into the fifth set and I was going to be able to expose him physically. But, you know, I, I played a couple average points in the first game and he played two really good points and all of a sudden... Um, I'm behind the eight ball and I was playing catch up and yeah, he just let loose. What is uh, the impact of a five setter at this point in the tournament? Uh, for Andre? For you, for you. For me? Well, I'm out of the tournament so there's no real impact. Uh, ultimately, it um, doesn't matter if I can't move tomorrow. <laughs> I've got nothing to, to get ready for. Um, Did you feel the pressure tonight, moving through to the when you move through the fourth and then into the fifth? No, as I said um, before, uh, I think the match was basically changed when you know he started to get a little bit more fatigue and he started to realise that he probably had to go after it a little bit more and adopted a. a, a more aggressive game style and he executed that and I wasn't able to you know to to expose his movement so um, nothing about pressure nothing about expectation none of that just 
you play too good in the moment and, you know, it's going to sink, but it is what it is. Uh, Alex, obviously very tough to find positives right now, but those second and third sets where you're able to aggressively take it to him, hit as many winners as he was, step inside the baseline, you've talked a lot about that's what you have to do against the best players to beat them and then you got very close. Is that something that you can take forward now and show that you can compete with these guys? Yeah, I mean, I think um, night and day a different player. I mean, you know, maybe a couple of years ago or even last year I would be sitting here and, you know, maybe even happy with, with the results, right? Saying, oh, you know, uh, I probably shouldn't have won. Um, he's higher ranked than I am. I, I took him to five sets, you know, pre pretty decent effort but it's completely changed because now I'm sitting here and I'm absolutely devastated because I saw it as a as a great opportunity and a match that uh, I strongly believe I, I could have won but it just slipped away. Uh, have you spoken to Leighton um, after the game and um, after the match and um, he's someone that uh, faced a lot of big hitters in his career um, and you know maybe was limited by that um, do you have any thoughts about uh, what you can work with Leighton on, how to recover out of this? Well, I think I, I dealt with it pretty good until a certain stage. I mean, realistically, again, I think uh, what let me down was my serve. Um, the inability to, you know, get through my service games because, again... I had more break points than he did, had more chances than he did. But I just wasn't able to execute those chances, and he was, right? Uh, so I think there's, there lies the difference in this match. Um, my serve was something that, that has been really good to me this whole Australian summer, and today kind of disappeared. So it's, it's a little bit disappointing, but yeah. It is what it is. I mean, uh, life goes on. Uh, I know the areas I've got to work on. And again, like I've done my whole career, I'll I'll get better. I'll improve, and you know, hopefully next time I'll I'll be able to take it to the next level. You just said, Alex. You know which areas you need to improve on. Um, what are the sort of gears you're going to try and go through to get to that next level? Look, no, I mean, I know it's it's a little bit disappointing that I'm uh, I'm sitting here after a loss in the fourth round, but I do think I've made a, a lot of steps in the right direction. So I think my level is quite there um, against you know top ten opponents this year. I'm you know three and one, so it's not the worst of uh, of things. I was very close today. I'm um, doing the right things. And, and yeah, that's probably uh, the serve just needs to help me out a little bit more in, in those stages and in these types of matches. And yeah, that's probably, probably it. Last one. Alex, how are you going to look back at this summer? Um... Not really sure, uh, to be honest. Um, perspective changes uh, with results, right? And all of a sudden, expectation and what you believe you should be achieving also changes. So maybe in the past, I would have been somewhat content with a fourth round, but I thought I had a uh, uh, thought I had more in me, so it is a bit disappointing. Um, in due time, I'll take the the three top ten wins uh, at United Cup. I'll take it as confidence, and even this match, uh, I'm playing some great tennis as the start of the year. And importantly, if I can keep this level throughout the whole year. Um, quite confident that I'll be able to finish where I want to.